easel. All right, so to get started, when we talk talking about amplifying something that might be starting to get viral or might be newsworthy, we're here on LinkedIn, and you might be wondering why, and that is because this is a great place to connect with journalists, and I want to teach you how to use Boolean search techniques. If you're in some of my courses about personal networking, you'll know that this is something that I think is really valuable. So I'm going to show you an example. So for example, this is the search term that we're going to use, and I'll deconstruct it for you here a little bit. And also, I want you to note that you have a supplementary guide in the study guide that's all about Boolean searching and the Boolean search operators that you can use to be tailoring your searches and become more effective at this stuff. Um, so that's at bit.ly slash easelboo, but you can also find that in the study guide. You can find that link. So what you're seeing here is that these parentheses put, make, it tells the search engine that I want anything in these parentheses, you know, I want to kind of group them. So for example, journalist or writer or editor. So I'm making the universe bigger by saying that one of the terms I want is a re result that has one of these three things in there, journalist or writer or editor. Now the and operator will shrink the world of search results and it'll say, but it must also have at least Chronicle or Times or Herald included in the search result as well. So I'll show you what happens when I put this in the people filter up here. All right, so then you're gonna see here that a bunch of journalists come up. And of course, because this is LinkedIn, I can filter by location, um, I can filter by connection level, and I find that to be really helpful. One thing that you should know is that best practices in journalism is that you, know, you wanna email a journalist who is on the right beat. So whatever is related to the news story that you have or to the viral success that you're seeing, that's the journalist that you want to reach out to. And sometimes if you can get the attention of an editor, they will then say, okay, I will find the right journalist for you. And so just to show you what this looks like after a while when you're using these techniques. So this is what a media list looks like for an area that I'm active in, which is investment crowdfunding. So, you know, I've got all these small business people, editors, you know, people that are basically, you know, into this area and I've whited out their email addresses just for their privacy. And so this is the way that I manage, you know, different media lists. And so you can sometimes buy these lists, you can buy sales lists, although you should be careful if you're doing that in the EU because data privacy rules are changing there. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of what you do is you connect with people on LinkedIn, build your media list around a certain area. And then I'm going to show you another technology that I think is really important. And again, I've taken the email of these people and whited it out. But you can see here that I keep a lot of these different email lists. And I call these quick lists because these are people that are related to different stuff. So people who are big fans of Easel, people who are collaborators, people who have received certificates from us. And so, you know, we want to keep those lists so that we can connect with people on a relevant basis. And a tool that we use to manage that is called yet another mail merge. So there it is there in my Google add-ons. And you can find a link in the study guide to yet another mail merge. This is what their page looks like on Google Sheets. And I'll show you what this does. So basically you go to yet another mail merge and then you start a mail merge. And there are a couple of features that I think are really neat here. And I'm actually not going to run it because um, it's, I'm, I'm logged out of, um, of stuff and it'll, it'll just make it messy. But it's pretty easy to run once you do it. Um, what you have to do is then you go into your Gmail and you create a message like this. And these little brackets here, they correspond with the fields in your spread, sh spreadsheet. So you see how that says, hi, first name? Well, then first name, it's going to coordinate whatever this email address is with this name. So for example, it's going to say, hi, Emily, hi, Victor, hi, Alvin, right? And you can coordinate multiple fields like this. So it's kind of a way to mass customize, right? Another thing that is a big benefit of using yet another mail merge is that there are two primary ones. One, you get email tracking, so you can see who's opened what, and you can see if they haven't opened it or if they opened it and they clicked the link or not. Those are all useful to have. And also, one thing that you can do is you can schedule mail merges. So if you start a mail merge here, then you can not only 
set up one that deploys immediately, but one that deploys on a schedule. So for example, if you have a big product announcement, you can schedule that an email will be sent right after the product is launched. So these are some tools that I think are helpful for managing direct, sort of more personal relationships um, and when you want to amplify a message, whether that means getting in touch with media, getting in touch with your community, maybe a VIP list or something like that.